I am cooking today, guys. We're gonna be cooking this. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. One thing. The entire stream is a B. That was weird. Oopsies. Harissa honey glazed chicken thighs. I'm cooking for my family. This is my family's meal. Like, when we're done, we're gonna serve and sit and eat. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. HelloFresh, yeah. So we, we've been using HelloFresh a lot. They are expensive, uh, has really good quality. Yes, I can cook, Mr. Mike. And also, so now our zesting is done. So we have one part of our food already cooked so far. We're gonna get started, guys. We're gonna cut the lemon. And uh, we don't usually put it into wedges. I usually juice it. We don't need lemon wedges. I don't use any wedges, we got our lemon zest right here, so we're done with that. If we need the spinach done first. Actually, which is actually a surprising thing, we need the spinach done first. Spinach has been cut. So they give us garlic, but what we do with the garlic, instead of doing it ourselves, instead of cutting the garlic ourselves, we just use pre-cut garlic. It makes it easier. Look at my booty, damn it. So this my this recipe I have not tried. So we're gonna go we're gonna go a little bit slower and making sure everything is done correctly. I don't usually put it into wedges, I usually juice it. Uh, I do not think we are gonna slice the chicken. We don't need lemon wedges. Instead of cutting the garlic ourselves, we just use pre-cut garlic. And making sure everything is done correctly. Hell yeah guys, welcome into the cooking guys. We've already started. We've already started. Yeah, I'm pouring honey into a bowl. We're taking the spices. Taking the spices guys. And we are mixing them with the honey in a small bowl because that's what they tell us to do. So, here's our medium pot. I think it's a little, just a little too small. What I'm thinking, so we're gonna use this, and there you go. I think it's a, just a little too small. So that should be good, I believe. Hey, what's let's go? Right, well, I'm gonna add the water first. And that's one cup, and there we go. All right, throw in the lemon zest. Let's get so we don't use regular salt, guys. We use garlic salt, adds a little bit of flavor. So we just put a little bit more than what they ask for in because it's not all of it's not salt. Making sure everything is done correctly. Let's go. Cover and bring to a boil over high heat. Once boiling, add spinach, then stir until wilted. Remove from heat and then add couscous. Stir to combine. Where's your hair net, sir? <laughs> a and a beard net. True, Trav. True. That's gonna boil really quick. Right, give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. It's following. No stickers today, Candace. No stickers today. Now we are going to add the couscous, guys. Let's go. And cover. Let's go. I have the same pot. Dude, they're absolutely great pots. This is my macaroni and cheese pot right here. Come on. Cut, cut you bastard. Okay. Oh, uh, you may see me not measuring a few things, guys. Um, as well, if you guys also cook, you know that sometimes doing exact measurements isn't always necessary. I'm making sure everything is done correctly. Now let's get these on here. Stir it up, guys. Stir it up. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so good, guys. Look at that. Thank you guys for coming into the Rocks Cooking Stream. Uh, we are going to be making this into a YouTube video, taking them off. Actually, hold on. Actually, just read the read, read the recipe. Let me double check. I'm going to cook them just a little longer because I want to make sure they cook in the next step of their cooking. So, the next step of this meal is we're going to put the sauce on. They saw me making this little sauce right here. So, that's what now we're going to be uh, saucing up all the chicken. Now let's go. Yes, exactly. Sauce. Very, very thick. It's because it's honey. You just want to make sure all of the, the sauce is used. Okay, so what we're going to do is we could use this pan for the chicken, but I don't like using pans and chickens, uh, so we're going to use uh, our baking sheet. 
is to cut the tomatoes in half. Uh, something I probably should have done at the beginning. I think it's a little, just a little too small, what I'm thinking, so we're going to use this. <laughs> You put the tomatoes around the pieces of chicken. Okay, let's go. Putting it in. Go. We got to do it. We got to make another sauce, guys. We got to make a nice little mayo sauce. Here is our thing. We got our garlic. Uh, let's get another little bowl. Okay. I think it's a little, just a little too small. What I'm thinking, so we're going to use this. Where's our lemon juice? There's the lemon juice. We're just waiting for the chicken to finish boiling. We, we may have to put the chicken back in, guys. Let's go. But yeah. <laughs> uh, we got about two minutes left. We're done everything else. Let's uh, hope I'm done everything else. <laughs> but yes, I am very tall, guys. I am absolutely very tall. <laughs> we are going to check the chicken. To see if it's good. But yeah, honestly, tall is based on, on who you are. Like, if uh, most people are short, you shouldn't put chill in your title. I don't even remember what my title is, if I'm being honest. Yeah, playing with viewers tag is so true, yes. I didn't change any of my tags, guys, okay? You got the short end of the stick there, Melly. Oh, this looks a little bit better. This looks a little bit better. Right. Uh, it looked cooked to me, but chicken thighs are always weird. Chicken thighs are always weird, and uh, I'm still learning how to cook. Uh, so someone can get some leftovers. And there we go, guys. There is the meal. This is a better camera. Here you go. What do you guys think? We got couscous, chicken thighs. Tomatoes and a mayo sauce with spinach and in there. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, I, oh shit. Ah. That's the wrong screen. I followed the recipe so you can blame the recipe. I don't usually put it into wedges, I usually juice it. Uh, I do not think we are going to slice the chicken. We don't need lemon wedges. Instead of cutting the garlic ourselves, we just use pre-cut garlic. That's good. So we don't use regular salt, guys. We use garlic salt. Adds a little bit of flavor. So we just put a little bit more than what they asked for. Uh, you may see me not measuring a few things, guys. 